Hi guys, Dr. Hampton here with Matt Janes. And I am totally excited to announce that Matt is doing a book giveaway from today, Sunday, March the 7th through Tuesday, March the 9th. And I will definitely include links in the show notes so you'll have an opportunity to see this wonderful book and, and read it. And thank you, Matt, for sharing that. Now, Matt is a autonomic neuroscientist, which means he's very smart. He's a nutri- <laughs> yeah, I had to go there. A nutritionist, <laughs> functional medicine and mental health practitioner. He's also a uh, keynote speaker and author of his inspirational book that you just saw, Saving Dad, where he helped his dad recover from mental illness, which really has inspired him to help others to do the same. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm really about lifestyle, especially diet, as a way to resolve chronic mental health conditions, and so does my guest, Matt. So if you know anybody who suffers from mental illness, I'm talking about depression, anxiety, bipolar, schizophrenia even, this book is exactly what the doctor has ordered. So what happened was I was in bed this morning. I just told Matt this. I'm sitting in bed with my phone. I saw that Matt had tweeted this that he was doing a giveaway. And I'm like, oh my God, he's doing a giveaway. And I wanted to make sure that all my followers were aware and able to take advantage of this opportunity to read his book for free. For those who missed podcast episode number 35, check out that episode because Matt was my guest and he'll provide additional insights during that podcast episode about his pro- approach to reversing mental <laughs> illness. So with that, Matt, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and maybe even give us a little taste of what we can expect to read when we get that book in front of us. Yes, yeah, so I, I mean, autonomic neuroscientist is the kind of the fancy name for it. Um, so really, I guess in layman's terms, what I do is I resolve mental illness using nutrition. And it's based upon autonomic neuroscience. So yeah, that's my kind of raison d'etre and my reason for being now. I've uh, been on a long journey as the book describes so yeah i thought it'd be nice just to read first of all first off the short prologue but then dive a bit further into um a section that perhaps then we can have a quick chat about because i think it might be quite um interesting for people to hear about i think so that would be nice and i do want to do a shout out to alex g all the way in germany who's saying hi to us on and uh, i think she's checking us out on youtube cool (laughs) <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to read the prologue first, and then I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and just read another extract. So, I was three years old when I first witnessed the devastating effects of depression. On a winter's morning in 1975, as I pedaled my beloved plastic tricycle into the kitchen, I saw my dad sobbing in mum's arms. Whilst being cradled, He was repeating the words, I can't, I can't. Although at the time I was too young to understand, the scene I witnessed was dad's first battle with bipolar disorder. Over the years, this mental illness has caused him to cycle between exhilarating highs and the depths of despair. Until recently, this book didn't have an ending. Since this is the true story of my life, I had to be patient enough for it to write its own. Recently, it did just that. So that's the prologue. And then I thought this section might be interesting. Uh, Your view as a doctor and the relationship you have with your patients and see what, you know, what kind of what you think about it. Okay. One of the many things that depression steals from you is the art of conversation. So when I drove dad to his psychiatrist appointment, the journey was pretty quiet. That was until he revealed, you know, this reminds me of when I was 19, the same age as you are now. Really, how so, I asked. I used to drive my dad, your granddad, 
to his, to his appointments, he replied, I was intrigued. Appointments for what, I inquired. I used to drive him to have ECT, he said. Mm. I'd never heard of it. ECT? What's that, I asked. I wouldn't have to wait long to find out. Dad and I sat down in the psychiatrist's office and listened to him explain that, or having already been prescribed a long list of antidepressants and mood stabilizers without success, Dad was suffering from drug-resistant drug depression. The only other option available to him was electroconvulsive therapy. Later, Dad told me that in 1961, when he'd taken his own father for the same treatment, he would watch him receive an electric shock to his brain without anesthetic in an attempt to relieve him of, a, of his depressive symptoms. Up to 15 mental health patients would be lined up at a time. And because there were no curtains between the beds, dad would be, dad would be able to see each one in turn be shocked into an epileptic seizure. Not easy viewing for anyone, never mind a 19 year old son. Now, dad was being told he would need to undergo the same treatment he watched his father receive 30 years earlier. By 1992, although still described by some as barbaric, the procedure was at least somewhat more refined than it was when dad had watched his father get treatment. With apparently no alternative, dad agreed to a course of 12 treatments, two per week over the following six weeks. In a private room, the anaesthetist administered a muscle relaxant, then a general anaesthetic, before a doctor placed electrodes on his two frontal lobes and administered an electric shock to his brain. Wow. So yeah, I, I, yeah. So that was 92 when I had that conversation with my dad. And I was then, you know, obviously recalling the fact that this was history repeating itself, that his father... Bizarrely, dad, my dad was 19 at the time too. Yeah. And, but the picture was rather different. But what I thought was interesting to get your view on was how surprising is it to you and perhaps to viewers and listeners that this still happens? Yeah. Well, I can tell you from, uh, I was as I was kind of hearing those dates, I spent some time in my medical training in the early 90s. So literally shortly after those right. times, yeah. so I was in my, my training in medical school. And uh, yes, I do uh, at the VA hospital, the veterans hospital uh, in uh, North uh, Chicago, Illinois. I was fortunate as a student to rotate through there in, in the psychiatric unit. Mm -hmm. And yes, uh, these veterans who were ill with mental illness where some of them had to be shocked. And for me, it was weird because I didn't think, I mean, even back then, I'm like, we still do this, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, but I will say this, when we took care of the sickest of the six de de depressed patients, they responded magically to it. Mm -hmm. It was almost like they were a different person. And literally the next day, you can just let them go home. You know, yeah. it was amazing. So, so yeah, I think from but but do I think about it now in my clinical practice? Not really, because I guess I don't take care of that level of sure. sick person. Yeah, but I think for, yeah for me it was just it's, it was amazing, but it was yes very scary. Um, yeah, it just seemed really odd. You would shock them. It seems like their is their heart still going. It was just a weird yeah. experience, you know. Yeah, but, but yeah, but it's nice to know that that option is available. But it's also nicer to know that there's other options, which is exactly. why the work yeah. you're doing is so critical. So, so yeah. maybe just briefly, you can just give a taste of, you know, how is it that, you know, diet, I mean, without getting too detailed, diet can actually help this versus shocking somebody. Yeah, it sounds crazy. Doesn't yeah, it sounds crazy, right? So. Yeah, so um, yeah, without going on a sort of deep dive, the nutrients in food have a profound effect on our biology, our physiology, 
our brains. Um, we went into quite a lot of detail about the science, didn't we, on our first uh, That's right, doing podcast. that podcast, absolutely. Yeah, so perhaps people want to have a little listen to that to get all the detail. But That's right. in, in summary, you know, I think it's not well understood the profound effect that nutrition has upon the autonomic nervous system. That's this system that, that I manipulate through giving people food. And in fact, in the research that I've done and in my book and in my subsequent course that I've published that's available online, I talk about the fact that ECT works through stimulating one particular branch of this system, and that's the sympathetic nervous system. And it explains why it works for some people and doesn't work for others. So in the case of dad, he was very, very weak in that branch mm -hmm. and giving him that treatment brought him back into what we call homeostasis back into balance right. in this system it's not however without cost so memory is the big one right i it remember that yeah, yeah it, it that. crucifies memory so both long and short term unfortunately and you know this book charts 40 years and dad has had i'd say 300 electric shocks and you know it has affected his memory um and really for a period of about 10 years he was having it fairly regularly and when he was very bad he'd have it twice a week but then a couple of years ago we reached a point you mentioned the heart you know and the strain on the heart they the anesthetist was worried about the effect that this might have on him because of another um condition that he had so we were left in a position where this treatment wasn't an option. And to be honest, we didn't really want him to have it anymore anyway. I mean, this isn't the first choice treatment, you know, it's a, it's the last choice. That's right. So um, that's when I put into practice my nutritional protocol. And as people re read in the book, it had rather transformational effects. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the, in a that's, nutshell. That's, that's, that's exactly. I just wanted to give, uh, those who are checking this out rather live or when it's on YouTube later, just to get a sense of what to expect when you're getting a free book, you know, it's like that. It's going to be a game changer for those who uh, get a chance to uh, take advantage of that. So, you know, I'm sure my followers are excited about your book, you know, having heard from you, I am so thankful for the work you're doing all the way, by the way, guys in the UK, and I know that so many uh, people will benefit from your work. And, you know, so the, again, the links to the giveaway will be in the show notes. And, um, you know, um, Matt, do me a quick favor. Other than the giveaway that we're going to share in the show notes, uh, you have additional resources. Mm. Tell, tell the listeners uh, where they can get, take advantage of the resources that are designed to help people with mental health. Yeah, so my website, mattjanes.com, you can see an array of videos and uh, articles and podcasts. But uh, on there, the, the main thing is the online program that teaches people both the science and the what, what to do, what to eat, what supplements to take, in what doses according to your individual and unique biochemistry. That's the key. The key is in resolving mental illness through this approach. It's the fact that everybody is unique in their genetic makeup and they need a particular set of nutrients to get well and to stay well, both physically and mentally. So it'll actually, it can restore a lot of physical illnesses too, but um, I do concentrate on on mental illness. So mattjanes.com. Excellent. So guys, again, the link in the show notes will allow you to go to uh, Amazon, et cetera, to get a copy of his book. Again, today is Sunday, so it'll be today, Monday and Tuesday. So if you know anybody in your family or you're personally suffering from mental uh, illness of any type, do not miss this opportunity to get his wonderful book. Uh, Matt also has a uh, up and coming uh, YouTube channel. So uh, you can find his YouTube channel. Uh, if you just look, you know, search Matt Janes. I also encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, of course, the protecting 
your nest podcast so you won't miss an opportunity to learn from experts like matt who uh, will help us all achieve our health related goals i've learned so much since i started sharing and teaching you guys but i learn even more when i have great guests like matt uh, any final thoughts matt before we wrap up yeah the main message really is this journey that i've been on with my father I've, i touched on there that there's a traditional way that psychiatry treats patients such as my dad but there is another way and it's a very effective way it's a way without side effects and it's a story that has not been told that that's my mission now is to tell this story through things such as this so that people can learn and take control of their own well-being without being at the mercy of pharmaceuticals and psychiatry you know it is totally possible yeah and, and part of my mission is to partner with clinicians like yourself to get the message out that's why we're doing this right now absolutely feel uh just honored to have you on today i'm going to look forward to working with you we're going to do this again in the future and and for those listening i really want to uh, thank you for taking a moment early in chicago and in the U u.s and it's about a what a six or seven hour difference for us six right? hours yeah okay, about six hours so so guys thank you for your time and of course until the next time we chat i want you guys to be safe to be well, and of course, continue to protect your nets. Everybody have a great day. Thank you, Matt, for your time.